Good evening, Mr. Chris. You're in London, right? No, no. I stay away from uh, London and Europe in the winter if I can. I'm going back there in a few days. Right now I'm in Vancouver, where I'm sorry to say I'm getting the sort of weather that I would if I was in London. Now, which city are you in? I'm in Munich in Germany, oh. but I'm going to Mallorca next week. Oh, that's a coincidence because I'm making a show in April in uh, in Germany in Munich. You know, no. the, yeah, you you know the show you have on every Christmas Eve about the old lady and the butler. We're re, we're dinner re for one. Yes, dinner yes. for one. We're we're remaking that. Yay! And you're in Munich then. Yes, I'll be in Munich, but I, I, I've, um, I'll be there in, in, in April. I've got to fix the script first. But listen, I'm taking up too much of your time. What do you yeah. want to know about? I only wanted to say, uh, first of all, a belated happy birthday. Well, thank you. Did you celebrate? Did I? No. <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> I'm in a hotel room. I live in hotel rooms. And uh, I can't remember anything I did at all except to uh, acknowledge lots of birthday greetings. Um, I had a very small lunch and then did a performance in the evening at a comedy club. So it was, wasn't much of a celebration. But I'll, <laughs> I'll celebrate it properly when I have a free day. And also when I get back to London, because I've always been quite flexible about when I um, celebrate my birthday. I, I, I admire the Queen because she has a birthday and then she has an official birthday. Very sensible arrangement. That's very true. But I'm a Scorpio as you. I'm going to ah. have birthdays soon. And I thought because I'm like you, I really don't care about birthdays because who cares? You know, I don't want to be the center of attention. I hate that. Yes, I think it can be boring. I mean, in the comedy club, they all sang happy birthday to you. I just... <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Looking back at your life, because when I saw Clifford, I really loved it. Because, you know, it made me think that everybody of us had once in his life or her life the feeling uh, like Clifford, you know, not belonging, being too big, too small, being too different. Was too there tall, a also too tall in my case. <laughs> too tall, yes, which you have, I don't have that problem. Did you ever have in your life that Clifford feeling that you don't fit in in a certain point in your life? That's a very interesting question. Um, I certainly felt many times that I haven't the slightest idea really what I'm doing with my life, but I, I don't feel that anymore. I think that trying to understand everything intellectually is not a good idea. And that if you can begin to get more in touch with not just your emotions, but your intuition, then you have a quite different experience of life. I mean, uh, people, you know, for example, if I was in a war, I have no idea how I would behave. I don't know if I would be very brave or very cowardly. I have no idea, but it doesn't disturb me that I don't know. Yeah. So you can live with that feeling that you, you know, um, I have the feeling the older I get, the less I know. Do you also yes, have Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And that, that I think that helps to keep you young, because once you start thinking, uh, I really understand something, you stop trying to learn. But if you just accept that you really don't know much, then you're constantly learning and it keeps you much more alive. Absolutely. They say, please wrap. Now I have to stop already. We just started. Maybe I see you in Munich, Mr. Please. That I would be fantastic. So. I Let's have so. a beer. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. And some Weisswurst. And some Weisswurst. Exactly. Weisswurst. And Susan. Susan. Yeah, and Susan. Oh, you speak German. Uh, no, no ambition. I can mit einem Eiler for Fledermäuse töten. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very important sentence. <laughs> very useful for me. <laughs> Absolutely. 